In this question, a mass of 6 kg is supported by a steel wire of 1.2 meter diameter and 3 meter length and the system is made to move upward with a uniform velocity of 18 centimeter per second. Now we suddenly stop the upper end of the wire from moving and in this situation we want to determine the frequency and the amplitude of the resulting vibration of the mass and also the maximum stress on the wire. So here I have my wire of diameter 1.2 meter and length 3 meter and supports a mass of 6 kg. Now when I stop the upper end of the wire from moving suddenly that is equivalent to saying that I fix the upper end of the wire so that will make the velocity of the upper end of the wire equals to 0 but rest of the wire and the block will keep moving in upward direction so this will result in compression of this wire that will be similar to compression of a spring and because the force on the wire is in axial direction it will behave like a bar spring and the stiffness of that bar spring is k equals to ae by l here if you want to know in detail exactly how i get this ae by l then you can watch my video on finding stiffness of a bar the link for that is given in the pop-up card above. So if I substitute values of A, E and L in this, I get A is pi by 4 d squared to E I am not given but because it is a steel wire, I will take E to be 210 GPA. So that is 210 into 10 to the power 9 divided by 3 and if I simplify this, I get equals to 79.17 into 10 to the power 9 newtons per meter. So this makes my bar and the block equivalent to a spring mass system because the whole system was moving upward with a uniform velocity of 18 centimeter per second when we suddenly stop the upper end from moving. So initial velocity of the block is let's call that x dot 0 is 18 centimeter per second and the initial displacement of the block will become 0 and this undergoes simple harmonic motion in this configuration and we know that the equation of motion for simple harmonic motion of a spring mass system is mx double dot plus kx equals to 0 and the solution of this equation of motion is x equals to a sin omega t plus b cos omega t and here omega is frequency of the system and that is equals to square root k by m that is equals to 79.17 into 10 to the power 9 divided by 6 that is equals to 1.15 into 10 to the power 5 radian per second. So the frequency of vibration will be 1.15 into 10 to the power 5 radian per second. Next we will find amplitude of this motion by solving this equation of motion with these two initial conditions. So here I have my solution and I have changed x dot 0 from 18 centimeter per second to 0.18 meters per second. Now I will start with substituting x0 equals to 0 in my solution. So this implies 0 equals to a sin omega into 0 plus b cos omega into 0 and we know sin 0 will be 0. So this term is 0 and cos 0 is 1. So this term will be just b. So this gives me equals to 0 plus b. So this gives me b equals to 0. That means this term will become equals to 0. So I am left with only x equals to a sin omega t. Now I differentiate that to get x dot equals to a omega cos omega t. And if I put value of x dot 0 in this, then I get 0 0.18 equals to a omega cos omega into 0. 
that is just equals to a omega so that gives me a equals to 0 0.18 upon omega that is 0 0.18 upon omega is equals to 1.15 into 10 to the power 5 radian per second so this gives me 1.57 into 10 to the power minus 6 meters so this is the amplitude of vibration we also want to find maximum stress in the wire and for that a will be the maximum elongation or maximum compression of the wire because that is the amplitude of vibration so so from this we can find maximum strain that is maximum elongation or compression divided by original length of the wire so that will be 1.57 into 10 to the power minus 6 this one is in meters divided by 3 that is equals to 5.23 into 10 to the power minus 7 and from this I can get max stress sigma max equals to E epsilon max and E I'll take 210 GPA so 210 into 10 to the power 9 into 5.23 into 10 to the power minus 7 and that will be equals to 109.9 into 10 to the power 3 Newton per meter squared.